Ann Braden was a Louisville journalist, organizer, educator, and one of the most dedicated white allies of the Southern Civil Rights Movement in U.S. history. Her central message was white's responsibility to combat racism. Her writings, such as A Letter to Southern White Women, gave calls to actions to whites to help fight against injustice. While writing about the Thomas Wainsley case, Ann said, Whether we like it or not, he is in prison because of us. He is a victim of the myth of white Southern womanhood. We didn't personally put him in prison, just as we did not create the myth. But by remaining silent as black men died or went to prison because of it, we have helped to fasten its shackles on ourselves. Anne never viewed her work or the movement as just helping African Americans. She saw it as also helping white citizens because racism impacts everyone. Anne was a close ally to both Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Ella Baker and became a mentor to several generations of racial justice activists. Carla Wallace is one of them. I, um, you know, I really, one of the big things I learned from Anne and from um, people of color in the um, racial justice struggle and economic justice struggles, gender justice struggles, is that we're all um, connected and that if we're truly going to care about each other, we have to be there for each other in the struggles for justice. And that's what builds really what Martin Luther King talked about as the beloved community. And so for me, I can't imagine my life any other way than um, working on um, the issues that you know matter the most to so many people. And for those of us who are white, uh, racial justice is critical to our own humanity as well, and it's exciting to be able to do work like I do with Louisville showing up for racial justice that I feel um, comes as part of the journey of having worked with Ann Braden. By 1963, the racial composition of volunteers in the South started to change. Black movement leaders started to wonder if the presence of so many white volunteers was robbing Southern blacks of the movement's more implicit goals dignity, and self-determination. Both black and white organizers discovered quickly that white supremacy existed as a psychological construct as much as a legal one. It was time to decide what allies were and how they contributed. Okay, to me being an ally means knowing when to either speak, listen, or amplify what others are saying. So like depending on a certain context, um, an ally should either listen to the oppressed group so they can be, sort of try and understand their situation even though they would never really be able to, um, or speak up so that people who have their privilege can listen to other groups or amplify, meaning they can sort of give their platform of privilege to the um, underrepresented groups. It's not about taking away the voice of underrepresented groups in the name of what allies see as justice. It's about sort of making sure that the experience of people who are oppressed and who are underrepresented get their own light. The idea of whites organizing whites had been rumbling around in the civil rights movement for some time, partly through Anne's initiative on the White Student Project of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, also known as SNCC. Well before Freedom Summer, there was a growing belief recorded later by Jim Foreman that whites and SNCC simply had to begin organizing white communities if we were serious about revolutionary change. He recognized that change was only going to come from collaboration. So allies can help each other in social justice movements because although they have a particular passion, whether it be from tackling police brutality to reforming foreign policy to universal health care to LGBT rights, Conglomerately, they can all get together and create networking. They may know like a lawyer or another activist, and they can get together and tackle unitedly on a certain issue. And so when we continue to work together as allies, we can progress on numerous movements. But overall, we can get together <clears throat> as LGBT, as a, a Latino, as a Muslim, as an Americans <clears throat> and get together and continue on the movement of civil rights and human rights because that's what we are genuinely doing. We're continuing the human progress and we're continuing <clears throat> to move forward as a society and so that's really important to continue networking even though that you may not share the exact same passion. Your passion is to move forward. It's progress. So that's why it's important. 
A local group called Louisville Showing Up for Racial Justice is the epitome of Organize Your Own. It is a social justice group with its main membership being white citizens whose goal is to inform and make allies out of other white citizens. El Surge is partnered with the Carl Braden Memorial Center and is a big supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement. Anne Braden tirelessly worked for 60 years to make a better world for all. She exemplified a good ally. What we can take from her life is that revolutions will not happen without all of us. Thank you for watching and stay up to date with us at the Anne Braden Institute.